the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Okay, we've take the, taken a snap-on scanner here and plugged it into a 2008 Toyota Prius. And what we're, the objective here is to show you maybe some tech tips uh, to look at the snap-on scanner on the Toyota Prius. Now, first thing we have to keep in mind is this obviously has an internal combustion engine. So we're going to address those, to address the parameters on the internal combustion engine first. I want to give you a little bit of tip here. When we're using the high voltage hybrid battery to crank this car over, this engine will crank over between 1200 and 1500 RPM as you'll see here shortly. In addition, as you watch the mass airflow during the cranking RPM value between 1200 and 1500 RPM, you should see a bare bones minimum 5 grams per second off that mass airflow. The thing to keep in mind on Toyota systems, the PCM does not see a good mass airflow value during cranking. It will flat out shut off the injectors and you'll have a no start. So if you have a false air leak between a mass airflow and the throttle body or a bad mass airflow sensor, you will have a no start on a Toyota. Here again, as a Toyota PCM does not see a good value during cranking a minimum five grams per second off the mass airflow sensor, it shuts down the injectors. Okay, let's get a scan tool and the two parameters we want to look at is the cranking RPM, remember roughly about 1200 to 1500 RPM, and inside that cranking RPM window, jump over and watch the mass airflow. We want to see a bare bones minimum, five grams per second. So go ahead and crank it over. Obviously you saw the RPM go up to about 1500 RPM during cranking, and the mass airflow jumped up to about 5.7 grams per second. Obviously a good system, but if you have an air leak between the mass airflow sensor and the throttle body, or if you have a bad mass airflow sensor, like I mentioned earlier, a Toyota computer, if it does not like the input off the mass airflow sensor during cranking, it will flat out shut off the injectors. You will have a no start.